channel. So today we're going to be making it. Three DIY slimes. The slimes we're making is a jelly cube slime, cream cheese slime, and bubblegum slime. So I hope that you guys enjoy it. So before we get into the video, I just want to mention my hair looks crazy. At least I think it does. If you think it looks crazy, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. But we had crazy hair day today. And um, I think it was like three boys in grade six dyed their hair. No, no, didn't dye their hair. They shaved their head for a... Um, foundation so that was really good shout out to you guys if you're watching it i doubt you will be but whatever but yeah i did this to my hair i've got a little bun up here but i went crazy i put like blue and red and my hair feels so like dry and gross but yes um without further ado let's get into the video <gasps> Okay guys, so the first slime I'm going to be making is Jelly Cube Slime. And this is actually my first time making it, which was so exciting. So to start off, I just added some clear glue into a bowl, about four ounces. And then I went in with about one teaspoon of water and mixed it all up. Now I went in with my colouring of um, choice and I chose pink and then I went in with my activator and activated my slime. jelly cube slime I cut up some jelly cubes and added them to my slime making today is cream cheese slime and you want to start off with pouring some white PVA glue into your bowl now what you want to do is add one teaspoon of water two tablespoons of shaving foam two pumps of foaming hand soap about two teaspoons of lotion and just mix that all up some colouring, mine was green just to make it a really pretty lime colour and then I went in with about three tablespoons of cornstarch and just mixed it all up all again. Then I went in with my activator and my activator is just one teaspoon of borax mixed with one tablespoon, one cup of hot water and here is my final slime. Okay guys, so the third and final slime we're going to be making today is bubblegum slime. And to start off, I added um, my desired amount of PVA white glue into my bowl. Then I added one teaspoon of water, two pumps of foaming hand soap, two tablespoons of shaving foam, two teaspoons of lotion and just wazz that all up as in mix it all up until it's all combined. Then I added some colouring and I thought this pink was a bit too light so then I added in some red and that made it the perfect bubblegum 
color and it looked amazing and so pretty and then I went ahead and activated my slime until it was all in one slime and I could play with it and it was such a good texture I love this one so much And here it is. Then what I did is I got this foam ball and then I just cut it up until it looked like this and then I just mixed it into my slime and I had to cut out the um, sand for this part because my parents and my brother were talking quite loudly in the background but yeah just mix that all into your slime and here is the slime. Guys, because it was around Easter time, I put in um, my slime into these cute little Easter containers and I love these so much because they act like containers because they technically are and they're just the cutest things ever. Then I just got all of my slimes, my amazing slimes and just mix them all together and this made such a nice texture enjoyed this video and I hope that you guys also like learned how to make three new different slimes and that you try them because they are by far some of my favorite slime recipes um I really love the jelly cube slime this is actually my first time making it so it was awesome you should totally buy those little sponges if you don't know where to buy them I bought mine at Dazo but if you don't have a Dazo around your area that is fine you can just use um, dishes um, dish sponges just cut them up into cubes or you can cut up squishies but my Instagram is called fuzzy underscore knuckles underscore slime so you should totally check out my Instagram well I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and bye